Well, I'm back with more Fable Anniversary. Right now I have to go to the training area. Learn how to fight. Sounds like a blast. Oh look, an apple. Should be rotten, but I guess it isn't. Whatever. You've finally prized yourself from your pillow. All right, lad. Yeah. yeah. It's time to see if you've any potential. Get in the ring. Now then, I want you to hit that dummy as hard as you can. Just keep going till I tell you to stop. You're not making much of an impact there, are you? Here, try with this. Thanks for the stick. Ah, now that's more like it. When you destroy an enemy like this dummy, it drops an experience orb. These orbs contain the knowledge gained from killing the creature. It's very important that you collect these orbs, or you won't learn anything. Now pick it up. Well done, lad. Now then, tomorrow we'll... That's the guild alarm. Sounds like there might be something loose in the woods. This is a good opportunity to test your spirit. I'll wait for you at the guild woods entrance while you deal with the problem. Once you're done, we can talk about starting your training. I mean, what if it was like a bandit or something? They just send a kid out there with a stick. Is that another apple? Ooh, I like apples. Even though they're completely rotten. Well done, lad. The beetles are all dead. You can come out of the woods now. Good work, lad. Those beetles can be a damn nuisance. Here, I think you've earned yourself some pocket money for that. If you want more gold, I'm sure the servants could use your help with something. Or you can get an early night. I'll begin apprentice training, I guess. The guild was now the boy's life. The memory of the Oakvale flames still scorched his mind. But soon he had no thought other than training, and he became stronger and more agile with every passing year. His days were filled with grueling exercises, the nights with study in the library. Finally, he was ready to become a guild apprentice, just as Mays had foreseen. The real training was about to begin. Get out of bed, lazy bones. We were supposed to meet the guildmaster on the other side of the river. But that was an hour ago. We better get going. Race you there. She hasn't aged a day. I mean, I feel like she should. Because I aged like... Four years, probably. At least. But she looks the exact same. As she usually does. And for some reason, I still have this stick. I mean, won't they give me an actual weapon eventually? But 
but no, just let me train with a stick. Thanks, guys. Late again. You can put that old stick away. We'll begin training with real weapons now. Get used to the weight of this sword, and let's see if you can hit Whisper with it. Come on then. Let's see what you've got, farm boy. How did that get through? Now pay attention. What I'm about to teach you could well save your life one day. The life of a hero is a dangerous one, and you must learn to block your enemy's attacks if you expect to live long. Whisper will try to hit you, but you can block her attacks with your sword. Not all blows can be blocked, but you should be able to handle anything Whisper can throw at you. Damn it! Come on. How did you stop that? There well we go. done. Now let's see if you can combine attack and defense. Ah, hello, Thunder. Come to check on your sister's progress, have you? You could say that. Whisper told me you've got her training with some farm boy. Maze thinks the boy has great potential. Enough to keep up with my Whisper. Ha! <laughs> well, why don't we see? Whisper and the boy are just working on their melee skills now. All right, children. Let's see who has learnt the most in their training. This will be a no-holds-barred duel, just like your final melee test. Prepare yourselves. That's all wrong, Whisper. You need to practice more. Shame you couldn't see me fight in the arena. You might have learned a thing or two. Keep training if you want to go there yourself one day. I could have beaten him if you hadn't stopped us. We have few enough heroes as it is, without the two of you tearing each other apart in training. Speaking of which, meet me as I make my way to the archery range, when you're ready to continue your lessons. Oh, and about your melee performance. Excellent. Fight like that in your melee exam and you'll do well. Then meet me by the archery range to continue your training. Okay. Just looking for apples. See if there are any more. Probably not. Are yeah, you ready archery. for your archery training? That's why I'm here. Let's continue our training with the bow. To begin with, see if you can hit the three stationary targets. And put some effort into it. The longer you pull back your bowstring, the more damage you will cause. But make sure you stay within the circle. Targets. Unfortunately, most foes don't stand still. So let's see how you fare against moving targets. You have a minute to score as many points as you can. The front target is worth one point, the middle one is worth three, and the one at the back will score you nine points. And remember, the longer you pull back your bowstring, the more damage the shot will cause. More damage means more points, but you have to balance power firing rate and accuracy. Let's see what you can do. Come on, lad. Get your bow out. Completely missed there. Let's come back around. There we go. Excellent hit. Keep them coming. Oh, that was a bad miss. Oh, 
Nice. shooting my lad do that in your skill test and I'll be most impressed what well, better hope so next we will learn about the ways of the will speak to me when you're ready to continue with your training I'll be heading to the island by the waterfall that was some fantastic shooting you better be proud of me Any princes want to practice melee combat? Looks like I need 20 silver keys to get in there. That'll take me quite a while. That old warrior, the guild master. It's a very large moon. I mean, it's like the middle of the day, too. There's just the yeah, will end of the day. I mean, it's very large. Jeez. It's been a long day. Yes, it has. It's time to learn about will powers. We'll begin by striking these strong dummies with lightning. All right. Let's see what you've got. That's it. See how many you can hit in half a minute. Only attack dummies that are facing the center of the island. You won't get any points for hitting one on the back. You'll only waste valuable mana. Using your willpowers depletes your mana, and once used, it takes time to replenish. Turn around in time. Excellent use of magic. Well done. Very good, lad. You have learnt the three hero disciplines. We can now move on to your final test if you're ready. Or you can spend some more time exploring the guild. I believe Whisper is about to go into the guild woods if you wish to join her. I'll just continue. I hope you're ready. Truly mastering a hero's skills takes years of practice. The boy mastered the skills quickly, but there was always more to learn. For years, the guild was his home, his school, and his life. But as time passed, his thoughts returned always to the world outside. The life he had lost, the family that had been torn from him. At last, only the final day of tests remained. Success would mark the end of his training. He would receive the guild seal and be free to forge his own destiny. He would become a hero. Before you graduate, there is one final test you must complete. Enter the guild woods and go to the log at the top of the hill. The test will be revealed to you there. Good luck. Thanks, man. I suppose you're wondering how you pass the final test, then. It's simple. You must defeat me, using all you've learned in your years of training. 
And we'll begin with your sword. Hit me, if you can. Attack me! Attack me! Good! Very good. Now, shoot me with your bow. Uh, don't get too close. Put some anger into it. How do you block well an arrow with a staff? Doesn't make any sense. Can really charge it up. Excellent! And finally, cast lightning at me. Sure. That's enough. Yes, quite impressive for a novice. You will find real battles rather more fatal than this. But Obviously. you have passed your final test. And you're ready to receive your guild seal from the guild master. Yeah, yeah, graduated. It's time to graduate. Let's go. Well, this is the day, lad. I remember the first night you came to us. And look at you now. Maze's faith in you was well placed. Now come along. The graduation ceremony will take place in the Chamber of Fate, the oldest part of the guild. Let the apprentices approach. There's only two of us. For many years now, you have worked hard to earn yourselves the title of hero. Today, that apprenticeship ends and you go out into the world to do great deeds. Deeds that will bring you the gratitude of thousands. Or strike fear into their hearts. These are dark times. The shadows of Albion are stirring and strange winds are blowing. Your choices whether they lead you down the path of good or evil will change the face of the world. Now, take your guild seals and venture forth as heroes. I mean, there should be more than two of us, I would assume. It's time for you to leave us then. But you're still very much part of the guild. On the map table, you will find details of any quests the people of Albion wish heroes to perform. And you'll need to return often to focus all your experience into new skills. Only by doing this regularly will you advance as a hero. Step into the light, and I'll show you how to do this. No, go to don't go towards the light. I mean, that's what they always tell you. But this guy wants me to go towards the light for some reason. I'll start with physique. I can swing a sword harder. And carry heavier swords too. But otherwise I don't think I have enough for anything else. Yeah. Doesn't really look like it. There is little else for me to teach you. But I will always be around to offer you guidance. And your guild seal will allow me to communicate with you at all times. You will also notice it flashing when you have enough experience to spend. I have given you a basic pack of supplies. It'll be enough for a while. Now there's a whole world for you to explore. Check the guild for more quests.
Well, there's a wasp menace, apparently. Sure, I'll go kill some wasps. This sounds fantastic. But I'll do that in the next part. Because now my actual open world gameplay can start. Because before this, it was just, you know, training, getting ready. Now I get to go out there and do with it whatever the hell I want, so. Yeah, maybe I'll see you guys in part three. Kinda hope so. See ya.